sort of back. It's been a month, so I might talk about what I did all of January in a different video, but um, yeah, I'm just heading to class right now. I thought that I would start the vlog now. So it's almost the weekend to just show you what I do over the weekends. My weave is literally on its last leg. I need a wash day. I'm not even gonna talk about how long it's been <laughs> since I've last washed my hair. It's just been busy and I've been lazy and we're not gonna talk about it. But yeah, so I just put it in a bun. So that's why it looks like this, but I don't really care for class. I've just given up. But yes, I'm gonna get dressed and then I'm gonna head out. So I'm back from class and I'm just gonna go ahead and get ready for bed because it is freezing and yeah. Okay, so right now what I'm doing is just like, so this is what I actually like to do during the weekend and like it's also a very useful function I think for, or will be a very useful like thing to use for a lot of students so a lot of times I'll write my emails, I use Gmail, Gmail, and I'll write my emails and then I'll schedule send them um, for like Monday morning at like 8 a.m. or something like that. Um, that way I don't have to feel like I'm bothering people during the weekend, but I also don't have to remember to um, send those emails like on Monday morning. Um, and this might also be helpful for like a lot of undergrads because I like do like you don't want sometimes you like remember that you want to send something at like 11 at night but then you feel really weird like going and sending an email at 11 at night not that like I think anyone really like cares that much but sometimes you do want to make it seem like you're not up at 11 at night thinking about that thing so um so yeah I just use google and then I do a little schedule send thing over the weekend that way like all the emails like for like all the meetings I want to request with professors or like things I like need to ask people are just like sent out immediately on Monday morning and then that way I kind of like can cross stuff off my to-do list um so yeah so if you like struggle with that and are stressed that sometimes you don't want to send out an email at like 1 a.m in the morning then I would say schedule send it waking up with soaking not doing what it needs to do um so anyway i thought that at least i feel like this vlog is sort of a lot about like what i've been working on so um what i'm working on right now is my dissertation perspective so i am finally um almost done with coursework this is my last quarter of coursework in the philosophy department so now I've started working on my dissertation prospectus. So a dissertation prospectus is just basically an outline of the thesis of your dissertation and an outline of what each chapter will look like. And usually it includes a references or a bibliography of um, the sources that you're gonna use in your dissertation or that you plan to use. So um, yeah, so I sent a draft of it to my advisor last week, um, a very short draft, like, I don't know, what people consider short. Mine was about like maybe like five-ish pages, so like a short draft. Um, it will probably end up being about 15 pages by the time I'm done. Um, but right now I am trying to put together a committee. So I have one member in mind and I'm going to set up a meeting to talk with her next week um, and hopefully ask her to be on my committee officially. And then I am trying to get an external member. So that's why I'm working on this right now. I'm trying to develop a abstract so that I can send it to the external member and ask if it's something they would be interested in doing. Um, I still have to talk with my advisor more about how I'm going to ask my external member because I'm not really sure like exactly how that's supposed to go. 
or how you're supposed to do that sort of thing. So if you have any tips, then please let me know because I'm interested. I don't really know um, sort of like what's acceptable or like what the, I don't know, like norms of politeness are in this case. So if you have any clue, please let me know. But that's what I'm working on um, right now and and start doing some actual grading and stuff, so yeah. I'll insert pictures of brunch because I didn't vlog while I was there. So I got a, oh, I've tried a Bloody Mary for the first time and then I also got this really yummy breakfast burrito. I felt like the restaurant was a little overpriced but it was still like fun to like go out, which is something I don't do often. So um, I'll insert pictures of those and So it's now, sorry about, I'm just, I'm just, I, like I showed, I washed my weave, so, um, it's not cute under there, but I'm gonna, um, straighten it before I go to class, or like the leave out, but I'm, was like, well, since it's like not straight, I might as well like work out before I blow dry it, so that's why. So anyway. Yes, to explain my situation. But right now, I am gonna watch The Last of Us and then we're gonna go downstairs to work out in the gym. I just spent this morning, I didn't really vlog it because I thought that it would be boring, but I just spent this morning like reading my paper. So I'm about halfway done with that, which is good because um, I have like three more days before they're all due. So I'm on track, um, but I'm just gonna watch The Last of Us because it is so good and I don't know, if if any of you are watching it, um, let me know your thoughts about episode three because I feel like it's been sort of divisive. Like for example, like I know some people that just like hated it and then other people that just loved it. I mean, I personally loved it. I like cried. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm sorry, but you should go watch The Last of Us um, and then let me know what you think about episode three. But anyway, I loved it. I cried. I thought it was just the most amazing thing ever. Um, so I'm excited to watch episode 4. But I decided that I would watch it during the day because my partner isn't here anymore and I just felt like I would be too scared to watch it by myself at night. Um, not that I get like super scared but I just feel like, you know, like being by yourself you get kind of like antsy about like noises at night so I just want to watch it during the day. Anyway, lots of information but that's what I'm gonna do right now.
Okay, so I am back home. I'm just making dinner and then I'm gonna watch Houses of Potomac because it is the season finale, so I'm super excited. Um, yeah, but I've just had a long day and I'm like so exhausted and I'm just ready to go to bed. I've been getting like so dry that I've started putting like this um why is this so close to me? anyway I've been pu started putting this like Neutrogena um they have like this really intense hand cream but like I do like to use it for like I don't know just like I'll like literally like put it on my hands just like pat it on my face a little bit at night sometimes because it gets so like the wind and like the cold just makes my face and my lips so dry so that's what I'm putting on my like around my lips because I just can't seem to keep them hydrated and I don't want to walk around looking ashy okay let's actually we need to go we really need to go Okay, so I have just gotten back from coffee shop. I ate lunch and I gotta head back to the train station because I have to go TA, so I changed into something, I don't know, more TA-like. And just like, yeah. So, yes, now I am gonna go ahead and head out. And this is just like a better view of what my outfit is. Okay, so I need new shower soap, so I bought this pack from Sam's Club. I love Sam's Club because you can buy like everything online and get it delivered. So I got, yeah, I paid, it was like 20 for this pack, which is pretty good. And they're like a average size. Um, so yeah, I don't know which one I want to start with. I feel like the pear one, but I remember I used to love the pomegranate one. I don't know, but anyway, I love these Neutrogena, Neutrogena Rain Bath um, body washes. If you haven't tried them before, they are amazing and they smell so good. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to use them. Hey, I have done it. I have finished grading and I'm so excited. I think it's because I haven't graded that many papers of that length in like such a long time. So I'm just like honestly so glad to be done. Um, and it takes me a long time because I like to leave like comments, um, a lot of comments, but it's not just, I mean, I'm not required to do that, but I like to do it just so that like, if a student comes to talk to me about a paper, like I remember what it was I was thinking about the paper because sometimes it's like you read something and then you might give it a grade and then like you kind of just forget what it was that you thought was at issue. So that's why it takes me so long. And I also just get nervous about it because I want to like make sure that I get it right. Um, so yeah, I do spend like a lot of time like grading the papers and then once I'm done, I even go back through all of them and kind of make sure 
um, that all the papers of, like, a similar grade are, like, of a similar quality just to make sure that, like, you know, everything's correct. So, yeah, that takes me a while, but I'm done. I sent the averages. I have to send um, the section averages to the professor um, every time I grade, so I did that, and now I just honestly just have some other stuff to do, so I have to write that abstract <laughs> that I've been talking about. I have to write a dissertation abstract for the dissertation that does not exist yet, but will one day in like two to three years. And then I also have to, oh, I have to do this like work, not worksheet, why am I saying worksheet? Um, paperwork for, I signed up to be a grader for a class next quarter. So I don't technically have to TA, but I signed up to do grading um, just so that I could get some extra money um because times times are tough they're not great and our salary is not amazing but anyway um and then what's the other thing i have to do there's one more thing i guess i have to read for class um yeah and then i think that's basically it at least like um, things that i immediately have to do and i'm gonna like clean my apartment because it's a mess right now so yes because it's raining and I don't want to go outside so yeah and I just like as you saw I just like did my hair so I'm kind of upset <sighs> all right so it is raining so I have on this cute rain jacket and just some black jeans so yeah I am gonna go ahead and head to class or off hours. I have to do off hours and then I have class after. Everybody's so 